Hey guys, I do this because I keep bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day, a happy Monday, and um, today I want to go over answering IT interview questions. So this is like part three of interview questions. If you want to see me make another video on this or like a question that you've been asked before in an interview, definitely let me know and I'll, and I'll show you how to answer it. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do IT support videos, I do CompTIA videos, I do videos on how to get into desktop support, and also I make a bunch of videos on how to get into IT and do IT interviews as well. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So this is going to be a quick one. Um, I am leaving today. I should be back home hopefully by the end of today. We'll see. And then maybe you'll see a video with me, maybe going live Saturday or Sunday. I'll let you guys know of anything. So with that being said, let's get right into this. So, um... The interview question is, or the question that they would ask you, like I had, I had someone ask me this question before, is then this is how you would answer it. So if someone asked me, what is port 3389? What does it do? How does it work? So typically, if someone would ask you this question as an interview question, you would say 3389 is a remote desktop protocol, right? That's what it is. That's, that's something that someone would say, typically. They would just give you a definition and an answer, and then that's it, and then... The managers, I'm like, oh, okay, that, that's okay, that's fine, and they'll ask you the next question. This is the way how I would answer it. It's the way you should answer it if you have IT experience or if you're new in IT, and this separates you from everyone else that is answering the same question. Instead of giving a definition, you give them an example. So this is the answer you would say, something like this: three three eight nine three 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 eight nine is remote desktop protocol, but I also also an example of that for me is when I had an issue with a user um, and he was trying to connect remotely from his local PC to his office desktop and for some reason he kept getting access denied over and over again so immediately we noticed that 3389 remote desktop was completely checked off in uh, Windows settings so we enable that on Windows settings and also if you if you're trying to remote into a certain desktop you need to be added to a remote desktop users or remote desktop group so I added him part of that group as well and then after that he was able to successfully connect to his computer or his work uh, desktop in the office and then after that I was able I asked him are you, are you okay you're able to connect now so yeah yeah I'm, I'm good now did you have any other issues after that no that's it and that's that's basically how I resolved that issue um, typically you have that issue if the person's not adding remote desktop groups or if the person um, has 3389 not on, or something something firewall related, where the firewall might be blocking certain ports like 3389, and that's the reason why he can't connect to his desktop or PC. So that's how you would answer that question. So you will give them a hypothetical example based on experiences that you have gotten from work, and you give them an answer like that versus giving a definition. So you don't give anyone, don't give someone a definition. When, you, when you're when answering an, an interview question, you give them a hypothetical example based on your personal experience. Now, if you don't have, if you have no experience, you don't know, you don't know what to say because you have zero experience, the way you would answer that question is it will be in a non-experienced way or just, you know, just give them, a, just give them an example. Just tell them, oh, I know three, I know 3389 um, is remote desktop. I know you have to add them to remote desktop groups. I done this before on, on a virtual machine or VM, um, and um, basically I had a user connect remotely and he couldn't connect remotely, so I enabled 3389 for him. And I also noticed that firewall was blocking that port, so I had to enable it. Stuff like that. You have to give them uh, an example of some sort. Don't just don't don't just give them a definition. You give someone a definition, you're gonna sound really boring and. Also, it won't separate you from everyone else. So you want to give an example of some kind, an example of something that you have done in your past. Maybe you had an issue with, with DNS, or maybe you had an issue with port 80, or maybe you had an issue with FTP 2021. So like an example of that is like, oh, I had a user, he was trying to download some documents through FTP, and he couldn't download the document. It kept saying incorrect username and password. And then we realized that FTP was disabled for him. So we had to enable FTP in the firewall, under firewall settings. Um, we had to enable port 2021, which we did. And then after that, he was able to successfully download those documents. And also on top of that, since for some security reasons we didn't allow that, 
we actually had to download it ourselves for him. So we downloaded um, we downloaded a, a fire FT, fire FTP program and basically um, that's for Firefox and I put that on Firefox and then after that I downloaded the documents for him and then I went to see I went to see dollar sign users I went under his name and I just copy and paste the documents over to his to his desktop. And that's basically how I downloaded this file. So you gotta give him an example of some sort. You don't you don't you don't get too technical with it. Just give him an example. Make it as make it as easy as possible. Not too complicated. You don't sound like you're you don't sound like a dictionary. You sound like a regular human being talking to a regular person. And also, like I said, like I always I said in my other videos, it depends who you're talking to. So if you're talking to your mom, your grandma, or your dad, you you you, you make it as non complicated as possible. So you say yeah. So remote desktop is basically it allows them to connect to a desktop if they're not if they're not in the office and they're trying to connect from like another country. Basically, you, you have to allow that to, to work. So I ha I had to go I had to change a setting on his computer and basically I allowed it I allowed it to work and he was able to connect to the computer after that. Or an example of that would be with FTP. Um, he's trying to he's trying to get some programs you know how you, you know it's like you talk to your mom your dad so you know how you, you know how you download a program you want to download facebook or messenger or whatsapp on your on your phone and you need to put a password in, in order to download it yeah so he, he couldn't download it because his password and his use his password his password and his username was probably not correct but also you need to allow it you need to allow it you have to change some settings for it to work so i went i went into his computer again and i changed the setting for it to work and he was able to download those files after that Using FTP, so FTP is like a program similar to like Messenger or WhatsApp. But in this program, you could share files with people, like share pictures and stuff like that. So that's basically what we did, and basically I, I I was able to download these files for him. So you make it as simple as possible, it, depending who you're talking to. If you're talking to your mom and your dad, to someone that's from HR, obviously you, you talk to them like that. Now, if you talk to someone that's from IT, obviously you give them a different type of answer. It's more technical. Basically, you talk about the ports, what ports you enable, which ports you allow, um, firewall was being blocked, blah, 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 and you tell me to add it to certain groups, but also you give an example of when that's happened to you as a job experience. If you have no job experience, you you can make one up. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, make yourself unique, separate yourself out from everyone else. So anyway, I hope this video helps you out. If this is another hypothetical question. If someone were to ask you this question, this is how you would answer this question. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I should be home soon, and you'll, you should see a live video from me hopefully real soon. All right? I hope you guys have a great Monday. Take care. Peace. Bye.